Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Poppy's maternity story changes, Katie's alarm bells, hope fires back at Steffi. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for the coming two weeks, May 27th to June 7th, reveal that Steffi Forrester will unleash her wrath when she finds out John Finn Finnegan stayed for his birth mama's marriage form. Finn only walked in on Sheila Carter and Deacon Sharp's marriage by mistake, but Steffi will have a big problem with the fact that he stuck around rather have bolted out of there. Liam Spencer will also blast Finn's jest. During the week of May 27th to 31st, but Hope Logan will suppose everyone is overreacting to Finn's tight spot and attempt to be polite. Latterly, Steffi will get into a heated argument with Hope, which may formerly again involve complaints about Hope's influence on Finn. Still, Steffi will escalate the situation indeed further when she makes her particular vendetta a professional bone. It turns out Steffi will advertise that Hope's fashion line needs to end incontinently. Although Steffi will claim this is rigorously about business, Hope will not believe her, and neither will Mama Bear Brooke Logan since she ll help her son fight back. Hope will throw down the crucible and let Steffi know she's gone too far this time. We ll hear Hope deliver in sanctioned war protestation as the pressure boils over. Over with Bill Spencer, it looks like he might ask Poppy Nozawa to move in or indeed pop the question. Katie Logan will ultimately barge in on the discussion with questions since Bill and Poppy are getting so near. Latterly, Poppy will deliver life-altering word to Bill, and also Luna Nozawa will get some long-awaited news as well. Will Poppy annul and now try to claim that Bill is Luna's natural father? Could Bill help vend the teradiddle or get duped along with Luna? It's possible BMB pens have simply changed directions on this plot, so there's a chance Poppy will actually be telling the verity if she now insists Bill's the biopater. That said, the more likely option is that Poppy will just find it preferable to say Bill's the father rather of coming clean about the real bone. Whatever the case, alarm bells will go off for Katie when she speaks with RJ Forrester about Luna Latterly, so she may grow suspicious over Poppy's implicit maternity story. During the week of June 3rd to 7th, Bill and Luna may do a little further cling, especially if Poppy indeed shifts gears with a father-son disclosure. Meanwhile, Sheila and Deacon will celebrate wedded bliss, but Steffi may rain on their cortege if she rips into Sheila for dragging Finn into the marriage party. Although Finn will do his stylish to keep his pledge about staying down from Sheila, you can go his bio mama will make that pledge delicate to keep. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for the coming two weeks indicate Finn and Steffi have further marriage drama ahead, so we LL bring you prognostications on their pressure and updates on whether they can work past it. Steffi makes a huge business move, and Poppy and Bill share a lovely moment. Poppy and Luna have gone through a rough couple of months, with Luna taking her mama's magic mints and ending up sleeping with Zend, who she allowed. Was RJ at the time? Also, when RJ set up out, he reseated himself from Luna while he tried to sort out his passions. To make a complicated situation worse, Luna had a gestation dread. As if effects have not been crazy enough, coming up coming week Poppy and Bill kiss. Poppy also tells Bill, Ivy loved you from the moment I first saw you. Bill says, let's do it now. Poppy laughs. Is this a recent magnet, or is this evidence of the proposition that Bill may be Luna's father? Cleric and Sheila planned to tie the knot and Cleric wanted Hope and Finn to be the maid of honor and stylish man. Sheila told Deacon that they had a better shot at seeing gormandizers fly. Meanwhile Steffi reviled to Liam that Hope demanded to stay down from Finn and stop impacting him when it came to Deacon and Sheila. Latterly, Hope revealed to everyone that Deacon and Sheila were to be married. Meanwhile, Finn visited Sheila, who asked him to be there for her on her special day. As the big day approached, Hope told her mama she'd attend the marriage for her father's sake, while Steffi prayed Finn to see that he could not go to the marriage. But when Sheila and Deacon said, I do, both Finn and Hope were there. Coming week, at Forrester, Brooke says, Steffi, this has nothing to do with the company. Steffi replies, it's a business decision. Hope for the future needs to come to an end. Moment. Is Steffi shutting down Hope's line out of malignancy? Steffi is furious that Finn stayed at Sheila's marriage. Can you say treason? On the May 27th occasion of The Bold and the Beautiful, spoilers tease that Steffi learns why it took so long for Finn to come home with that pizza. 
she discovers that Sheila commandeered Finn at I.L. Giardino and got him to stay for the espousal. To say that Steffi is outraged would be an understatement. This should be a dramatic occasion you do and want to miss. Stylish man Finn Sheila and Deacon's marriage did go out without a hitch, and indeed better than Sheila had anticipated. Sheila was overcome with joy when she saw her cherished son Finn show up. It did end count to her that he was there to pick up a pizza. This was her occasion, and she'd make the utmost of it. With his mama beaming at him, plus Deacon and Hope looking encouragingly for him to join, Finn felt he'd no choice but to stay. He stood awkwardly at Deacon's side as improvisational stylish man in sweatpants. Finn indeed shared in a vital part of the form by giving the marriage rings to Tom. Sure, he looked uncomfortable, but Finn must have been incompletely pleased to see his natural mama so happy. Which actor is the B&B pantomime of the month for May? Back at home, Steffi's radar went up incontinently. She knows it doesn't take that long to go to I.L. Giardino and back home. Still, Steffi had preliminarily asserted her hubby's fidelity to her, indeed though Liam has questioned it. What do you suppose? Post a comment. Now, she finds out that Liam wasn't out base. Finn did, indeed, get smelled into staying at Sheila and Deacon's marriage. And who was there to impact him not to leave? None other than maid of honor, Hope. You can go that Steffi will fly into a rage. Finn told her that she was his precedence. He promised that he would end see Sheila presently. Also, he turns around and serves as the stylish man at her marriage. Exactly what does Steffi have to do to get Finn to stay down from his mama? If she see a and get what she wants from Finn, she may start lashing out at others. Steffi Forrester defends John Finn Finnegan Steffi tells Liam that the marriage is supposed to be on the sand. Liam says it may be right below them. Steffi has formerly looked. Trending. BNB spoilers hope influences Finn to destroy his marriage Steffi says the girls will be getting empty soon. Steffi says Kelly Spencer loves Deacon's pizza. At least Finn doesn't have to worry about running into Sheila. Liam asks Steffi how Finn is truly doing. Steffi doesn't know, but Finn knows why he cannot be at the marriage. Liam wonders what's taking Finn so long. Steffi wonders too. Steffi dispatches Finn as he and Hope crack for the happy couple. The bold and the beautiful recap, Sheila Carter's dream comes true Finn did and come for the marriage he just came to pick up pizza. Finn allowed. They were getting married on the sand. Sheila says this was meant to be. Cleric tells him he has to stay on pizza so he might as well stay. Cleric and Sheila keep asking until Finn agrees to stay.